Today I am at Snow Factor, an indoor ski slope in Glasgow. Here's the deal, right? Me and Kim have booked a holiday in two days time to the Italian Alps to go skiing. The only problem is I've never been on skis in my entire life. We've booked a beginner session here at Snow Factor, that's four hour on the slopes, to see if we could get the basics down before we go to the Alps. I wanna see if I can learn to ski from scratch as fast as possible. This is day one, hour zero. Okay. So at Snow Factor, I'm on a closed slope. Whoa. And there's also an instructor present here. Normally, I just jump straight into the deep end with this kind of thing. But on this occasion, I felt it was irresponsible to venture onto open pistes in the Alps without the ability to stop or at least swerve to avoid people. Did that look awesome? All right, I'm trying to do pizza. Just S shape down the hill in a controlled manner. Turn properly. Yes, that's better. All right, I'm pretty confident I could stop or swerve to avoid a poor child that was in my way. Let's go to the Alps. All right. Now we are in Italy. We're actually at the border between Italy and France at a ski resort called Clavier. So we're gonna go and rent some skis and then we're gonna head up one of the easy blue runs. So for this milestone, I'd really, really like to be able to do a red run, get down a whole red run without crashing or bailing or being out of control. I think that would be a really good challenge. So we've got four days to do that. Let's jump on a chairlift and see where we go. All right, here goes. First run off the holiday. All right, pizza. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm getting in everyone's way. I think I'm ruining everyone's day. How am I getting on? Shit. Yeah, I'm fine. I think that one of the problems I'm having is with freaking out because other people are on the slope. I've never had to deal with that. And as a result, I'm just defaulting to snowplow mode and I'm holding everyone up and I'm going painfully slow. The best bit about skiing is not actually even the skiing. What other sport do you just stop halfway through and just have a pint? Okay, it is the second day in the Alps, third day total skiing. I feel a lot more calm today. Yesterday we did a bit of practice and I was able to avoid people. I mean, I had a couple of bales, but I never crashed into anyone. That's the important thing. So now I feel much more confident. The sun is shining. It is absolutely gorgeous out. I feel very, very lucky to be out here. Um, so I'm looking forward to skiing today. It's getting better, right? some good skiing right <laughs> it feels like a match again somewhere with us we should just try a red run now yeah let's do it yeah let's do it so this will be my first attempt at trying a slightly more difficult slope all right wish me luck okay Backwards. Backwards. Well, that was painful. <laughs> so here is the issue I'm having every time I fall. 
Obviously in skiing to slow down properly, you want to be turning. And what happens is if I don't initiate the next turn quick enough and start slowing down, I freak out. And when I freak out, I lean back. It's like a reflex action to going downhill. But in skiing, you have to lean forward if you want to have any chance of steering. So I just need to get more confidence and be happy leaning forward on steeper stuff. Oh, this feels much better. You okay? Okay, okay. Just stay where you are. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Oh. 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 All right, this is our second last day on the slopes, but the weather today is absolutely terrible. Uh, I think they're actually shutting some of the lifts up at the top. I can't see a thing. So I think I'm gonna give it a miss today because I think that this is just dangerous. So that leaves only one day left of skiing. Green salad up, a green salad down. Last on the spot, got a tail of brown. Before we go, I would really, really like to be able to get down one of those red runs without crashing. So here goes. Okay, 93 right. Let's do it. Whew. Oh, it's steep already. Whoa. <laughs> I am certainly not the fastest nor the most stylish skier in the world but after four days of practice I can comfortably and safely do a European red run. I'll take that. What did you guys think of this cool animated photo effect that I included in the video? Pretty awesome right? I learned to do that in Photoshop and in After Effects using this class on Skillshare. In case you haven't heard of them, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands upon thousands of clear, concise classes delivered to you by the professionals. The reason I really like Skillshare is because you are guaranteed quality. No more spending hours upon hours searching for a decent tutorial or trying to learn from a really convoluted video. All the classes on Skillshare are to the point and understandable, and they're split up into these handy chapters, so you can jump back if you need to revisit something or skip ahead. And it's not just photo or video classes on Skillshare, there's a whole range of different topics on the site. Check out these Ableton Live classes delivered by an Ableton certified trainer. 
Usually Skillshare is just 10 bucks a month for unlimited access to all the classes, but since they are sponsoring the show, the first 500 people to use the link in the description will get two months of Skillshare Premium for just 99 cents. You've got nothing to lose. So if you wanna learn something new and support the show, go check out the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching.